Hello and welcome to the Spa Overton highlights of Overton's first 11 match versus Hursley Park second 11 in the Hampshire Cricket League Division 3 North. Hursley Park won the toss and elected to bat first. Munish Karuna and Bryn Wathan opened for Hursley and it was Bryn who got the first boundary of the day. However, it wasn't long before he was back in the pavilion, playing on to Nick Tomlin. Percy Park showed a lot of patience early in their innings and started to pick up boundaries with more regularity. Karuna especially started growing confidence. Sam Cross picked up Overton's second wicket of the afternoon, that of Karuna, caught by Kev Barlow, making amends for his earlier drop. Yeah. And one brings two. Nick Tomlin here, getting Brimble, caught by Andy Galvin, an absolute blinder just off camera. That was our champagne moment. Hursley Park found themselves in an even deeper hole when Harry Sparks hold out to Dave Fuller in the deep, the bowling of Tomlin for four. After 11 overs, Hursley Park found themselves 35 for four and it took O'Brien and Bishop to steady the ship. Both batters playing some nice shots. They recorded their 50 partnership in the 24th over. Following drinks, they continued to build their partnership. O'Brien reaching his 50 in the 33rd over. The partnership was finally broken when Adam Secret took a great catch right on the rope from the bowling of Nick Tomlin. Bishop removed for 34. Aaron Karuna looked to take advantage of the good platform he'd been laid and played some shots at a great strike rate. However, his lively innings came to an end when he was bowled by Adam Vicky Secret for 18 from 17 balls. Skipper Richard O'Brien moved into the 80s here. With wickets now in hand, Kian O'Connor looked to maximise the opportunity and really put the Overton bowlers under pressure. Here he is recording the first six of the match. Oh, shot! Shot! shot. 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 
Hursley Park finished 205 for six from their 45 overs. Richard O'Brien not out on 90 from 138 deliveries. Nick Tomlin was the pick of the Overton bowlers, taking four wickets for 35 runs. Overton started brightly with Henry Deacon and David Fuller opening. The opening pair were positive in their approach, looking to stay ahead of the run rate. Both batters getting in on the boundary action. The only negative that could be found, and was a sign of the rest of the innings, was the running was less than certain. Overton eventually brought up their 50 13th over, although again, some hesitation. Fuller was the first Overton wicket to fall, playing around this full toss. This brought Chris Bollywood Young into the middle, and unfortunately, he's come to his third duck of the season. A thin edge here. Deacon continued to score boundaries, now accompanied by Kev Barlow returning from injury. Here's Henry bringing up his second 50 of the season. Is Barlow also contributing to the boundaries as the win and score predictor at Overton clear favourites at this point. Barlow and Deacon continue to bat well together, bringing up their 50 partnership here. However, it all came to the end when Kev Barlow holed out here for 33. Ian, the Axeman Clark, was the next batter to the middle and he too started positively. However, maybe too positively, call in Henry Deacon here, through for a run, Henry slow to get off the mark and run out. This setback didn't stop Ian taking the attack to the bowlers as he continued to score in boundaries. Club legend Andy Galvin was the next wicket to fall, being caught for just four runs. This was unfortunately though, the start of an epic collapse. Skipper Charlie Bowden was out for a golden duck an excellent catch by Jensen Bishop. JB! Soon followed by Chairman Moo caught in the deep. And it continued to get worse for Overton as Nick Tomlin was out for another golden duck just two balls later.
with Stefan, where art thou? Cox, already departed for a wedding reception, the final wicket to fall was that of Adam Vicky Secret. Overton losing their last six wickets for just seven runs in 12 deliveries. Henry Deacon's 82 earned him player of the game. It was Henry Sparks three wicket over at the end of the game that definitely got Hursley Park over the line, winning by 21 runs. Thank you for watching these Spa Overton highlights. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.